Have you ever considered that beneath the fundamental laws of the universe, there might exist a hidden code, a matrix of consciousness that shapes reality itself? This isn't just a stage where stars are born, planets orbit, and life begins and ends. No, it's a canvas, painted by the brushstrokes of consciousness. Since antiquity, the greatest minds have sought to understand the laws that shape existence. But what if the very essence of these laws is rooted in the consciousness that observes them? The universe has not always been as we see it today. It expanded from white-hot plasma billions of years ago, transforming into atoms and molecules, then into stars, galaxies and planets. As part of this cosmic evolution, life emerged, and with it, consciousness. This consciousness, as we understand it, is intricately tied to the development of our brains, a process that unfolded over millions of years. Yet the full extent of consciousness in other creatures remains a mystery. We may ponder, are we the only fully self-aware beings in this vast universe? Or is it more probable that consciousness, in its myriad forms, is scattered throughout the cosmos? The existence of consciousness, our consciousness, refutes the idea of a universe born from random events. Cognition isn't an arbitrary process. More than anything else, consciousness implies that natural order is real. This profound insight aligns with the philosophical musings of 17th century philosopher Benedict de Spinoza. De Spinoza rejected the notion of the universe as a mere consequence of random events. In his seminal work, The Ethics, he proposed that nothing in the universe is contingent. Rather, all things are conditioned to exist and operate in a particular manner by the necessity of the divine nature. This suggests that consciousness isn't a mere accident, but an integral part of the universe's fabric. Our understanding of consciousness and its possible connection to the universe continues to evolve, and with it, our understanding of ourselves and our place in the cosmos. This intriguing thought forms the basis of panpsychism, an age-old theory that sees consciousness in every corner of the cosmos. Rooted in diverse cultures and religions, panpsychism has found its way into modern secular and scientific discourse too. Consciousness, a complex and unique phenomenon, defies reduction to mere neurons or atoms. It's an enigma that refuses to yield to the traditional scientific method. The mysteries of consciousness seem to defy the conventional scientific approach, thus paving the way for alternative theories. Enter the integrated information theory proposed by neurologist Giulio Tononi. Where most would seek to dissect consciousness, Tononi instead takes a bird's eye view, a top-down approach if you will. He defines consciousness as the integration of information, a concept as fascinating as it is perplexing. Imagine any complex system, from a human brain to a bustling city. Tononi's theory assigns each a unique number, an index of consciousness, if you will. This number, indicating the degree of information integration, represents the system's level of consciousness. And here's where it gets intriguing. This definition includes not just humans and animals, but also machines. Yes, you heard it right, machines. Even complex networks like the internet could, in theory, possess a degree of consciousness. But buckle up, because we're about to venture even further out. The universe, with its infinite dance of data integration, from atomic collisions to large-scale cosmic phenomena, might indeed possess a level of consciousness. According to this theory, it's more than just stars and galaxies. It's a conscious entity. If the universe is conscious, what does that imply? Consider the philosophical implications. Panpsychism challenges our conventional understanding of consciousness, suggesting it's not exclusive to biological entities. It invites us to see the universe as a vast, interconnected web of conscious experiences. On a practical level, it opens up new avenues for scientific exploration, blurring the lines between the animate and inanimate. When we gaze at the stars, we might be looking at a conscious entity a thought that truly expands the boundaries of our understanding. Let's dive into the concept of quantum consciousness. Some theorists see a striking similarity between consciousness and the strange phenomena observed in quantum physics. Let's consider the property of entanglement where pairs of photons exhibit interlinked polarizations. No matter how far apart, the state of one photon influences the other. This could be interpreted as one photon monitoring the other, a fundamental function of consciousness. American philosopher William Leichen suggested that a bit of monitoring equates to a bit of consciousness. So theoretically, we could find consciousness at the quantum level. But here's the catch. How does this small-scale monitoring integrate into a comprehensive network? 
as proposed by integrated information theory. That, my friends, is a puzzle yet to be solved. So, does this mean every photon in the universe is conscious? A tantalizing question indeed. But what if consciousness doesn't emerge from complexity, but is instead a fundamental attribute of the universe? This question brings us to the concept of non-emergentism. Non-emergentism proposes a rather radical idea that emergent properties like consciousness simply do not exist. This theory suggests that the basic properties of complex systems can be reduced to their simplest components. In other words, nothing comes from nothing. So if we apply this to consciousness, it would mean that consciousness must exist not only in entire systems, but in their most basic components as well. This is where it gets intriguing. Some theorists, including the likes of William Kingdon Clifford, have combined non-emergentism with evolution. They argue that evolution, while it creates complex systems out of simpler ones, does not generate entirely novel properties such as consciousness naturally. Therefore, the simple components of biological systems must also contain consciousness. Could it be that consciousness is a universal property present throughout the material universe? Ponder on that. When did consciousness first spark to life in our ancestral timeline? The question is as complex as the intricate brains and nervous systems of our ancestors. Even non-vertebrates like squids and octopuses exhibit exceptional intelligence. Consider single-cell organisms processing and integrating data in their own unique way. Could this be a rudimentary form of consciousness? The theories may not be perfect, but they certainly point towards some fascinating possibilities. Could the universe itself, at its fundamental level, be conscious? Imagine a world where everything is mind, where all phenomena of life, matter and energy exist within an infinite and universal living mind. Picture the universe as an infinite intelligence, an intelligent field, the very essence of consciousness. This concept transforms the universe into a realm of thoughts, where every atom, every star, every planet, every life form is a thought in the mind of the universe. This mental universe dances in a dialogue of thought with thought. What if energy, power and matter are subordinate to the mind? This is the question that the principle of mentalism provokes. It suggests that all phenomena of life, matter and energy are merely the thoughts of an infinite and universal living mind. This conception of mentalism ties seamlessly into the idea that all is mind, a cornerstone of hermetic philosophy. The universe, then, is not a separate external entity, but a reflection of our own consciousness. The universe's core is rooted in the power of the mind. Does the cosmos reflect our thoughts? As we delve into hermetic philosophy, we encounter the principle of as above, so below. A profound yet simple concept that suggests the laws of the cosmos mirror the laws of our minds. This principle aligns seamlessly with the idea that all is mind, thus strengthening the connection between consciousness and timeless wisdom. We find a sense of unity between the macrocosm and microcosm, the universe and the individual. In the dance of cosmic consciousness, we find a mirror reflecting our own thoughts. Have you ever pondered the nature of the universe and where consciousness fits into the cosmic puzzle? As we delve into the realm of quantum physics, we find a world teeming with subatomic particles that defy our conventional understanding. These minuscule entities like electrons exist in multiple states at once, only settling into a definite state upon observation. This peculiar dance echoes the principle of mentalism suggesting that our consciousness, our act of observing, has a hand in shaping reality. In this cosmic ballet, we witness the universe's inherent flexibility, a realm where consciousness orchestrates an enchanting spectacle. The universe's order, the way galaxies align and group together, seems to surpass mere random chance. This grand choreography, from the smallest particles to the grand cosmic dance of galaxies, begs the question, is there a conscious cosmic mind guiding these movements? Could this organized cosmic dance be a sign of a universal consciousness guiding everything? Imagine for a moment seven hermetic principles like seven keys unlocking the mysteries of the universe and consciousness. These principles, steeped in ancient wisdom, offer a glimpse into the intricate dance of reality and perception. The principle of mentalism, for instance, asserts that all is mind. This profound idea implies that our thoughts are not merely passive observers, but active participants in shaping our reality. 
It suggests that personal change and growth are within our reach, guided by the mindful choices we make. Then, there's the principle of polarity, a reminder that love and hate are two sides of the same energetic coin. This principle nudges us to view our emotions not as opposing forces, but as varying degrees of the same essence. In this blend of thought, mentalism and hermeticism offer paths for change. Our mind becomes a lab where thoughts shape reality. The laws of the mental universe guide life's twists. Picture a universe, not as an inanimate entity, but as a conscious being. Let's delve into Plato's philosophy, a dichotomy between the fleeting, imperfect material world and the eternal world of ideas. Could our consciousness be deeply intertwined with this universe, rather than separated? As we tread along the boundaries of our understanding, we find ourselves at a crossroads of exploration. Are we mere observers of a cosmic tapestry? Or perhaps our very consciousness weaves the threads of reality? Now let's delve deeper into the quantum realm where the late physicist John Wheeler proposed an intriguing theory. Wheeler's interpretation of quantum mechanics, known as the participatory anthropic principle, suggests a universe that teeters on the brink of uncertainty until it is observed by a conscious being. This is us. We are the observers, the ones who bring clarity to an otherwise nebulous sea of potentiality. We are the ones who, through our act of observation, shape reality in ways that defy conventional understanding turning the possible into the actual. It's a bewildering concept, isn't it? That our very consciousness, our awareness, could have such a profound impact on the fabric of reality. Wheeler's proposition resonates with the deep connection between consciousness and existence, echoing the timeless sentiments of Albert Einstein, who envisioned the unifying essence of art and science in awakening a cosmic sense of connectedness. Here we stand, at the precipice of understanding, gazing into the cosmic mirror of our reality. We find an unseen connection, a dance between particles and cosmic consciousness, a reflection of Plato's philosophy of eternal ideas. The universe, vast and potential, snaps into clarity beneath our gaze, a testament to our interwoven existence. Our act of observation might be instrumental in shaping the cosmos, a concept both fascinating and humbling. Is it possible then, that we are not mere inhabitants of the universe but its conscious creators, weaving the intricate tapestry of reality with every thought and observation? In the vast expanse of the universe, we find ourselves entwined in a cosmic dance, a dance of awareness and existence. The participatory anthropic principle, a theory which suggests our consciousness may play a significant role in shaping the universe, serves as a haunting melody in this interstellar ballet. As we grapple with the profound mystery of our existence, we are drawn to explore the frontiers of our understanding. What is reality? Is it an objective external world or a construct shaped by our consciousness? The universe in its majestic complexity might be as we perceive it, or it could hold hidden dimensions beyond our grasp. Our journey doesn't stop there. We delve into the enigma of consciousness. Does it spring from the intricate neural networks in our brain? Or is it something more something that transcends physical boundaries? Could there be a deeper connection between the observer and the observed? While empirical validation of these theories remains elusive, the exploration itself enriches our journey. It leaves us with a sense of wonder, a feeling of interconnectedness that transcends individual perspectives. The dialogue between science and philosophy continues, stretching the limits of our perception. So we dance on in the cosmic ballet, embracing the mystery the wonder, the exhilarating uncertainty of it all. In this dance, we find not just answers, but also questions. Questions that propel us forward, that fuel our quest for understanding, that remind us of our place in the cosmos. Welcome to the perplexing realm of quantum mechanics, where classical understanding of cause and effect is routinely challenged. Quantum phenomena, with their uncanny behavior, pose questions that push the boundaries of comprehension. We find ourselves contemplating, could consciousness be entwined with these mysteries? Could it be exerting an influence, shaping the very fabric of reality? Such a thought nudges us towards a profound question. Could it be that the very act of observing reality changes it? Dare to ponder, is time an objective constant? Or does it bend and warp in response to our perception and experience? As we delve into the nature of time, we find philosophical and scientific perspectives intersecting. 
Some propose that the past, present and future might not be a linear sequence, but rather a complex interconnection that defies our conventional understanding. This perspective suggests that our perception of time might in fact shape its reality. Could time be yet another piece of the consciousness puzzle? In the quest to understand reality, we find ourselves questioning, what is the true nature of consciousness? The origin of consciousness is a puzzle that philosophy and science have been trying to piece together. Neuroscience aims to unravel how brain processes birth consciousness, examining the intricate dance of neural networks and biochemical interactions. Yet theories like panpsychism propose a different perspective, suggesting consciousness might be an inherent property of all matter. Does consciousness reside solely in the brain, or could it be an inherent property of all matter? Could our reality be a mere product of our perceptions? This question invites us to consider the boundary between an objective, external world and our personal realm of perception. Philosophical perspectives like idealism propose that reality itself is shaped by our perceptions. Meanwhile, advances in neuroscience and psychology provide a scientific lens, unveiling how our brains construct our perceptions. As we continue to explore the limits of our senses and the nature of perception, we find ourselves ever closer to understanding the intricate mysteries of our reality. Imagine standing at the edge of a precipice, peering into the enigma that is consciousness and quantum mechanics. We're at a junction where the borders of physics, philosophy and psychology blend into each other, creating a vibrant tapestry of the unknown. Consider the double slit experiment, a paradox that has baffled minds for decades. Particles behave differently when observed versus unobserved, a phenomenon that teases the edges of our understanding. The debate rages on, does the act of observation collapse quantum probabilities? Advancements in quantum mechanics, experimental physics and quantum information theory are painting a new picture, each stroke revealing more about the intricate dance between consciousness and quantum interactions. As we continue to unravel the quantum world, we find ourselves questioning the nature of our own consciousness and its role in this grand cosmic play. Einstein's theory of relativity shook our understanding of time, suggesting that it dilates based on velocity and gravity. This sparked a philosophical debate. Is time an objective constant or a subjective experience? Theories like quantum gravity attempt to reconcile relativity with quantum mechanics, adding another layer of complexity. Delving into the realms of psychology and neuroscience, we uncover how our minds process temporal experiences. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of time, we find our perceptions challenged and our understanding of reality reshaped. Are we, as a species, evolving towards a greater consciousness? Perhaps. It's a tantalizing thought, isn't it? The nature of consciousness, imprinted in the fabric of reality, often eludes our understanding. Yet in those rare, unbiased moments, we glimpse its true essence, hidden in plain sight. As we continue to evolve, we might find ourselves encountering the greater consciousness of the universe itself, a force that goes beyond words and underscores our ignorance of the true nature of nature.